Welcome to the Instructor's Guide to eReserves. In this tutorial, I will demo an eReserves course and explain how to access and share materials with your students. Once your course is ready, you will receive a final email that should look something like this, with the link to your eReserves course and the password that you created. This is the time to review the course page and ask for any adjustments. You can view the course by clicking the direct link here. There are two authentication processes before entering the eReserves course. First, you need to log in with your Fresno State credentials. Then, you will need to use the unique password you created for the course. Now is the time to make sure you are satisfied with everything you've submitted so far. Take a look at this example course I created for some reference. You have the option as an instructor to organize and name files and folders however you prefer. Remember, you can always add more materials to your course at any time during the semester by submitting another request on the eReserves webpage. If you would like to make any changes, now is the time to contact the Electronic Reserves Coordinator. Okay, now that everything appears as requested, it's time to share the course with your students. There are two methods to share the eReserves. eReserves is conveniently accessible through your Canvas course site. Just follow these steps to set it up. Log into your Fresno State Canvas and select the course you want to link eReserves into. An eReserves option should display on the left side of the navigation menu under Development. If you do not see eReserves listed here, you will have to enable the item. To enable, select Settings. Next, select the Navigation tab and scroll down this list until you find eReserves. Press the ellipsis and enable the item. eReserves will automatically advance to the bottom of the development list. You can drag and drop items to organize however you prefer. Once you're finished, be sure to save. eReserves will now be listed here and your course should be linked directly into your account. Students will also be able to see the eReserves course on this page as well. You can select the student view to see exactly how your Canvas course will display as a student. Another method to share the eReserves course with your students is to send the URL along with the unique password you created via email or post the link on Canvas. The option is up to you as an instructor. Your students will be able to access the course directly from the URL. You can also refer your students to the eReserves website. From the main library page, Select Services, Our Services, and select eReserves. Scroll down to Access Materials and select the Library eReserves button. This page will display all of the eReserves courses that are active this semester. Thank you for watching the Instructor's Guide to eReserves. If you have any questions, please contact us.